guys, how you doing? FM Dal here, and welcome to We're All Wednesday, ain't we? We are back, still trying to get Sheffield Wednesday to the Premier League, to the Champions League, to glory is what we're aiming for. Can we get there? Well, who knows, but it's going pretty well here in the Championship this season, which is what you guys are going to have to catch up on right now. So, hey, the, without further ado, Kelly. So we left you guys in the chance for a window deadline day. If you haven't watched it, go back. But we saw the game against Blackpool. And in that game, we got a 2-2 draw. If you remember, they scored in the 89th minute. But don't, don't count Cameron Archer out of it. 90th minute saved us with the draw. And since then, well, this is how it's been. We played Millwall and we beat them 2-1. We played very, very well throughout the game. Armando Brogia, who we did bring in. It does sound like Ambrosia, doesn't it? But we did bring him in on transfer deadline day as the new striker. Hopefully he'll have the same impact as Defoe did. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, you need to go to the start of this series and start again. Jermaine Defoe, what a man. Myth, legend, you might say. But anyway, 2-1 win there. We played in the FA Cup fourth round. It was a 0-0 against Wickham. Second team. Of course it was a second team. Kadamatri in there, anything there. And this has had a terrible start, by the way. Maybe maybe a bad sign in that one. But doesn't matter. Let's go back to the league because that's where it's been. A 1-0 win against Coventry. Keeping it running with Lewis Gibson scoring the goal. We then played Norwich. Another 1-0 win. 90th minute plus one. When Tyrese, John Jules came in and scored for us. Then we got knocked out of the FA Cup. And we lost 4-0. And it doesn't sound great. And I understand that. And I am with you with that. Played again the second team, though. Trafford in goal. Dunkley was in the team. But when you look at the rest of it, you'll see there. Will Ferry playing left back. Ennis, Kadamatri. Everyone had a poor game. We lost 4-0. And I was worried that's where we'd throw it away. But we brought the first team back into action. And it was a 3-1 win against Cardiff. Another win. Another goal. Goal from Brozier. John Jules and Castillo, who by far is my player of the season. And in the last game, it was a 1-0 win against Lewin. We won with Ryan Longman coming back into the team. You'll see that Christopher Scott hasn't scored for a while or assisted. And that may be because I built him up too much. And I accept that. I accept that it's all on me. But as you can see, all these greens, green, sorry, all these wins. Where does that put us in the championship? Well, if we go back up here and click the right button, that button, we'll use this one. The league table at the moment is looking incredibly good. Virgin on too good. Let's be honest. We've played 35 games, meaning there are 11 games left this season. We have 73 points. West Brom have 77. I don't think they'll be catchable, but this is the point. The team below us have 65 points. That's not Nottingham Forest have 65 points. Below them is Watford with 64 points. Ipswich 63, Crystal Palace 63. But either way, the closest team are eight points behind us. It means we have a very, very good chance of doing well as long as we can keep it up. And as we said at the start of the season, we do build our teams on the defensive structure. And that is why we have incredibly good average rating for two defenders who are in there as well so today though big 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 games today starting off our campaign here in the lovely month of march let's move that down for you all you will see we got blackburn at home we currently sit 13th and then portsmouth 22nd at portsmouth came up with us last season so that'll be a big game as you can see cam patterson will be out torn wrist ligaments we offered him a new contract not too long ago. He's got another year on his contract, but one of the issues with him has been the injuries, especially this season. When we look over his season, he go back to the start of the season, let's say August. Even you can go back a bit further. Look, this is just since the start of the season. Pulled groin, bruised knee, pulled groin, tight hamstring, ankle ligaments, calf strain, ankle ligaments, wrist ligaments. This boy has been injured more than he's been able to play, which maybe means. It might be time to put Callum on the transfer list. I'm not sure. One game, uh, one goal, sorry, in 11 games is not great, especially for a man who has been playing rather forward. But not the point. Not the point. The positivity is where we're going. That's what we're breathing into this one. Let's get to the Blackburn game. So the best part of this is that every player is fit. We're working in a very good... And when I say fit, I mean they are at the top peak level of fitness, which means we had a full team to pick from. So today, this is the team we went with. Dawson in goal, Bury on the right, Clark, Salter and Gibson in the middle with... Divine playing on the left. The reason for that is he has a very good connection with Carvalho in front of him. We have Ball and Larry in the middle there. Scott is going to be playing from the right-hand side. Carvalho behind the striker. Castillo, of course. And Broja is going to be up front there. The main man, the number 18. 
Scored two goals in four games, but some assists in there as well. He's doing well. On the bench, all the players you expect. John Jules Hunt, Palmer Longman, Adena and Dunkley and Trafford. There's been a few murmurings from players like Dunkley himself. He wants a new contract. We are working on who we need to keep because it, really, we're not sure what league we're going to be in. And it's crazy to say that. Looking at them, they have two players from Liverpool here. Williams and Van Den Berg. Two players I always... Well, not so much Williams, but Vandenberg, I always try and sign. I had a great year with him a few years ago, so he's always interested. Louis Sibley, and obviously the Chilean sensation, Bredesen Diaz up front. They've got a team. Let's see if we can beat him, though. Kick off, and we are raring and ready and everything to go. See how we can do in today's game. Hopefully, loads of goals for you. First highlight, Divine Corner. Throw it in. Gibson, 1-0. It's in. It is. It's in. 1-0. Gibbo heads it in. Yeah, brilliant, brilliant for me. He only got his first goal a few weeks ago. That was his first goal. He's been on loan with us every single season that we've done this. Divine throws it in there. Gibson heads it in. Oh, I see what happens. He heads it in, comes up back off the bar, and he puts it in himself. That's composure. What a player. Half time 1 0, and all we need to see is the goal. That's how easy it is for us. The game overall has been pretty even. They haven't looked like scoring though. But let's see. Second half, we need to keep it on. Cavalier's got a bit of a knock, so we may take him off. Who knows? Kick off for the second half. And I tell you what, guys, we're straight into the action. And it's Scott into the injured Carvalho, but we've kept him on as he takes it back in the box. And he puts a very poor ball across the front. You expect a little bit better from him in a position like that. But ball plays it to Lowry, these two. Doing very, very well in the midfield. Divine, he's already got one assist today. Can he get two? Brugia, never, never going in that one, was it? Back, and it's it's the last minutes, basically. We're in extra time. There's not been too much happening in this game. Fortunately for us, you could say, as Larry takes a go. Oh, I, I would quite like that to be the last highlight. I'd quite like to be able to just now talk all the way to the final whistle, which I can do. And we have won the game 1-0. Look at this. This is what we build our team on. It is defensive. It's not the most crazy system. But when you've got the best defenders, you've got to use them. Gibson, 8.2. 7.5 Breeze. 7.1 Clark Salter. 7.5 plus Dawson doing great in goal. If you've got that, you don't lose. And that is what's been happening to us this season. We get to the next game. and We should have everyone back. It's a week away. Come on. Let's, have, let's bring the positives. Six straight wins in a row in the league. This is the form we need, boys. This is... I mean, we're playing Portsmouth. They're in 22nd. I mean, that screams a game that we lose, doesn't it? Every single time. So here to Bratton Park. And why change your winning formula? That's what you're thinking. And that's why we're not doing anything different this time. We are going with Dawson Bree, Clark Salter, Gibson, Divine, Cavalio. Ball, Larry, Scott, Castillo, Barosia, the same team exactly. The only difference that you will see is on the bench. Archer's come in. I've put Hunt to have the day off. Why, why? You don't need to worry about it. We're going to win. That's the positive. Sam Gallagher, good striker here, but this boy, Charlie Patino. If you uh, do watch Arsenal at all, you'll know that this boy is coming through. And on the game, he's unbelievable. In the last episode, I showed you one of the players that I really like. Vandenberg, always done well with him. This boy, Kiana Javier. He is the one who I need to sign because my love for that player, he is an absolute baller. And Mbete is as well. He's from uh, the Man City youth team. So they've got some really good players. I'm not quite sure why they're in the relegation zone with that team. They should be clicking a lot better than they are. The boys are walking out. Hopefully this is the game where you guys get to see how good Amando Broje is. Kick off. First bit of action is the boys in pink, and that is Sheffield Wednesday today. As Divine throws it in, gets it back. Larry, little dink over. Nothing good from it as Harness clears to Aliane, and uh, it's all the way back to Clark Salter. Again, we are in control of the ball. That's what we want in the early, early minutes of this game. Give it to Bree. The assist king. Come on, somewhat pen. It's got to be. It, 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 it basically, what's he done? He's put his hands on him illegally, but to me, that's not okay. Uh, definitely not okay. At least it's not a cat, Zima. And it's Carvalho. What? Come on, boys. 1-0, Carvalho, who was uh, an iffy one. It's only his fourth game of the season. He was iffy for what he would be playing today with the injury last time. I've put him out there. I felt give it a go. And uh, I have been justified in that decision. He scored a penalty. We're 1-0 up. But they're coming back. And Smith has it. Crossing it in to the back post. Aliane, three and should do better. What are the defenders doing in that position? No one knows. 
There's been a lot more highlights in this game as Bree has it down the right-hand side. Gives it into ball and Lowry not doing enough there. Very well closed down from the Portsmouth midfielder. But Lowry looks back to Bree, the assist king. And he takes on his man. We don't need you to pass it. As Ball puts it in himself. Broge it off the bar. Should be doing better. Half time. It's been okay. It's been all right. It's not been the level we need it to be at. And uh, Look, we have a very good defence. But we can't rely on the fact that we won't concede a goal. So I would like another goal. Especially... We've, we've done enough to get it. We've done enough to get it, but we need it. Here we go. Second half. Let's go to it. Kick off for the second half. And some of the players seemed a bit nervous. They seemed a little bit, a little bit scarily nervous in, in that team talk situation before I had a word. And I can't quite understand why it is. Um, maybe if we can see now, we'll understand. As Gallagher has a really good chance. Good tackle. Bree, what a block. What a block, Gibson, son. That is possibly going to save us in this game as they've got a corner now. It's going to be Smith putting it in. Matt Smith chips it in, but no way is that getting past ball at the near post as Harness takes it in the centre. And we're still carrying on as Diego Rosa plays in Tembete. And we don't, we're not carrying on. Thanks, football manager. We're back there. We are back. It's not taking long as Gibson throws it into Lowry. Did he get himself back on side there? Obviously, it seems so as Bree. Oh, it's Christopher Scott who's headed it in at the back post. There he is. That's the boy I told you in the last episode. That boy has got some skills. He's somebody that we will be looking for if we can go up. Or even if we don't, he's going to be one of those. Goal. Well done, Gibson, getting himself back on side here. Carvalho plays it out to Bree. He's had an absolute stunning volley wide. Bushed in from Scotty Boy. Yes, lads. Free kick outside the box. We've made subs. Archers come on. Uh... Palmer's come on. Lowry's always been on. What's he going to do? Ooh. The other one is John Jules. He's on for Castillo. Hopefully just carry out the game now. Take the win. 2-0 and move on. Boys, that's going to be seven unbeaten. Seven wins in a row. This is an outrageous result. We're taking it. It's 2-0. It's over. It's done. Not as good performance, but still 2-0. We'll take that every day of the week. Looking at the league table, you can see that we are still in second. Well, of course, we're still in second. We've won both games in the episode, which I can't remember happening for a long time. But it's been great. We are still in second. There's only nine games to go now. We are ten points ahead of the team in third place, which is Crystal Palace, who do have a very, very strong team. As you can see from here, Philip Billing and Ketia, really strong team at Palace. So if we can finish them above them, I think we're getting automatics. Goal difference, we're doing well. Playoff-wise, we're 13 points into the playoffs. I mean, if we actually look at Bristol, we are 18 points. That's practically a cert for the playoffs. He said it, he meant it, he, you know what I mean. But when are we coming back, boys? Well, should we just go another month? Should we see what's happening? Let's go and find out now. Well, this is a tough one, isn't it? It's a really tough one to figure out. We've won this game. We've got Stoke next, which we won't come back for. Then we've got a big game against Palace, but I don't feel that's far enough into the future. I don't think we need two more episodes really this season. But do we? Do we? Do we? Do we? Or do we come back when I think we will for these two? Because I feel by this point in the season, we'll really know where we are at. So at the moment, I'm thinking to have a thinkeroo. We're going to go with it. We're going to come back for these two games. It's going to be the Reading game and on the 13th of April. And it's also going to be the Ipswich game. They're doing well. They're in fifth. So it's a decent performance. And it will be one to know where we're going to land. And after that, who knows, guys? Who knows what could happen? Keep staying tuned. Thank you so much for all the support as well. Please remember to like, subscribe, do all the beautiful stuff. Leave a comment and we'll see you soon. Hey, we're all Wednesday, aren't we? Sit up here.